Hank Kessler, a Yellowstone geologist, reported an inevitable emission at the Super Well of Lava on January 29, 2015. So far there have been no real ejections at Yellowstone however we are still inside the two-week time span he gave for the assumed emission, with only two days left to see whether his expectations were exact or not. Strangely enough this data dovetails with data already revealed by IntelliHub, making Hessler's cases all considerably more genuine. Also the way that there was more than 1,900 reported quakes all through the Recreation Center in 2014 alone as swarm action keeps on expanding. On March 4, 2014, IntelliHub went over data, by an anonymous source, who revealed that the White House had requested the United States Geological Survey, USGS, to stifle seismic tremor swarm information inside the area to conceal what might be originating from the overall population. What's more, this is the place it gets frightening as Yellowstone and a 1,000-mile swath encompassing the recreation center's supervolcano might be on the precarious edge of an elimination-level occasion, ELE. Truth be told reports recommend that antiquated helium-4 gas has broken the surface layers of Yellowstone's hull and is currently getting away into the world's air. Combined with the current and sudden ground-level ascent in the recreation center we might be taking a gander at a formula for calamity. All things considered, Michio Kaku, a well-known hypothetical physicist, called attention to in a January 2011 report which broadcast on CNN, when it blows, Yellowstone. It could annihilate the United States as we probably am aware it, that's what is making us anxious. Shockingly, later in the broadcast, Kaku went ahead to clarify how a 1,000-mile ring of the U.S. would likely be obliterated if the supervolcano really went. Furthermore, to exacerbate the situation, geologists all presume that the recreation center is long past due for an ejection. Truth be told. The last Yellowstone emission was thought to have occurred around 630,000 years prior, which means we are around 30,000 years past due, actually placing us in the last place anyone would want to be. Frontline. Kako additionally called attention to that, each and every burp, mumble, of this huge supervolcano, including the transcend ocean level, must be observed deliberately. So essentially in the event that you crunch the numbers for the calamity zone span, the initial 100 miles exuding out from ground zero would be totally wiped out. From that point onward, 90% pulverization would traverse out another 500 or more miles from ground zero, making a 1,000 mile distance across a ring that will basically be completely destroyed from the impact. Moreover this would basically put what's left of the United States into a state of emergency and all-out military law would be pronounced under National Security Presidential Directive, NSPD, 51. What's more, it deteriorates. Despite the fact that it is extremely unlikely I can vouch for the data, I basically can't. Yet, as indicated by an irregular person who posted a video on YouTube, the USGS has likely been requested by Washington to stifle data in regards to late seismic action and vaporous discharges in and around the Yellowstone area as a conceivably lint transit. This data came specifically from an associated individual, as per the video, which additionally brings up that they are expecting the huge one. However the man's source has not yet been uncovered. Furthermore, by and by, I myself can't vouch for this by and by. I simply need to make that unmistakable. Be that as it may, all the more imperatively the greater part of this coordinates with genuine information I could reference demonstrating an ascent of ground level in the recreation center of more than 10 crawls in the most recent 7-day stretch of February 2014 alone. So normally this has me pained as Michio Kaku himself expressed, as the ground begins to rise, an ever-increasing number of seismic tremors take place. That's about all the notice we get, noting an inquiry with respect to a cautioning. Kaku completed with, it will happen and, when it does, it will obliterate North America as we probably am aware it. Amid the last ejection, 640,000 years prior, huge measures of North America were shrouded in no less than 12 creeps of fiery debris. A current KSFY selective report notes, if Yellowstone had a super ejection at this moment, Harvests would be lost, 
making it difficult to nourish cows which would bite the dust. Market costs would soar as meat, grains and drain would be hard to find. Face veils would be required as taking in volcanic cinder is basically the same as taking in little particles of glass. And the greater part of this would prompt a Mad Max-like situation over the U.S. The general population who effectively watch this circumstance apparently fall into two camps, the individuals who think the Yellowstone fountain of liquid magma will never eject again and the individuals who think it will happen tomorrow, detailed KSFY.